my YouTube friends, using multiple cameras in your live stream is a great way to add a lot of variety and spice to your live streams. Whether you want to add a camera to show your hands while you're typing or playing a game or teaching guitar or just show another camera angle to add a little more spice. It's so easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do it today. So let's get to it. Today's video is sponsored by Owned. Owned is a website that offers anything a Twitch streamer could possibly want. On Owned.tv, there are thousands of overlay packs with alerts and stingers built in, as well as emotes and badges, and like I said, just about everything you could want. But what really excites me is the Own Pro site. On Own Pro, you download a plugin for OBS, and in OBS, you can browse and select from thousands of overlay packs that download and are set up completely right out of the gate in OBS. You can add alerts and labels and modify the text and even create custom layouts in just a few minutes. And they all have custom stingers that are set up with the profile so you don't have to do anything. You just download them and they're ready to go. In just a few minutes, you're going to have a professional stream that looks like you spent a million bucks. The best part is for just a few bucks a month, and I mean less than that crappy Netflix subscription you never use anyways, you're going to have access to every single one so you could change it up on every stream in just a few minutes if you really wanted to so take a second and check out own tv and own pro down below there are links in the description for each one if you have the means to support the sponsors that support this channel it goes a long way towards helping me continue to make content that helps you so thanks now back to the multiple cameras you can combine multiple different types of cameras to your live stream. You could add a DSLR camera with a cam link or multiple webcams or mix and match. A word of caution, some cheap knockoff cameras have been known to not work with the same type of camera. So your best bet if you're gonna go cheap on the webcams is to buy two different brands. Now I do have two cheap webcams myself and they're both different brands so they seem to work fine. You also wanna try to keep multiple cameras off the same USB bus if you can. A USB bus has a limited amount of bandwidth. So if you're using a desktop, plug one in the front and then maybe one in the back and that's likely to be a completely separate bus. For a laptop, you wanna try plugging it in on different sides of the case. Also, do not use your webcam mic. They aren't good, so just don't do it. Okay. Okay, so now that that's all out of the way, let's get into OBS and set this up. Adding two cameras is a fairly simple process. The first thing I'm gonna do is go in here and I'm gonna rename our scene. I'm gonna use nested scenes for this and you'll understand a little bit more about how that works in a second. So I'm just gonna call this NS camera and I'm gonna add another scene. We're gonna call this one NS webcam and I'm gonna click okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus under sources for our webcam and I'm gonna go and add a video capture device. I'll just call this one webcam and I'm gonna drop this down and select my webcam right here now I can go ahead and configure video and it'll bring up this menu better webcams are gonna have a lot more access to different things than this one does this is a cheap junky webcam but you can go in there and adjust the picture quality on your webcam if you want I'm gonna change it from custom make sure it's in 1080 and I'm not gonna do anything else we are not going to use the audio from this webcam and luckily it doesn't pick it up anyways so now I'm going to create a main scene because we have two cameras in here. We have our main camera and our webcam and I'm just going to go ahead and add a scene in here and we're going to add my main camera scene and then I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to go to scene and I'm going to add our web camera scene. And so there we go. So now we have two cameras in our scene. We have a camera that's showing off my keyboard and we have my main camera. So the reason why we use a nested scene is because we can add backgrounds and overlays and stuff into each camera individually and move them around really easily. So I'm gonna click the plus in our webcam scene and I'm gonna go ahead and add a media source and we're just gonna call this media source overlay and I'm gonna click okay. And then I just need to browse to our overlay here and I'm gonna use one that I got from owned and I wanna loop it because it is a video and click okay. So now we have this overlay in here. All we need to do is size up our camera and put it inside of our little camera box. So that's awesome. 
So because we did this in a nested scene, and then we put this nested scene in our main scene, when we go over to our main scene, you can see that our overlay is around our camera and it's attached to it. So anywhere we move this webcam, it's also going to move our overlay. So you can create all kinds of cool different things. They're connected and attached and you don't have to do it multiple times. In the old days, you would have to add the webcam and then you would have to add the overlay in every scene that you wanted to use use it in. In this case, we just create the camera with the overlay and we can add that group of items into any scene that we want. And that's the beauty of nested scene. So how do we spice this up a little bit? Well, we're going to go ahead and add another scene and we'll just call this one layout two. And I'm going to add my webcam and shrink it up. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to create another nested scene and we're going to call this NS display. And I'm going to go ahead and add a display capture into this other nested scene. And there we go. So now we have three nested scenes that we can use. And I'm gonna go back into our layout two and I'm going to add a scene and I'll just add that display in and I'll move my webcam over top of it. So now when I flip back and forth from our main scene to our webcam scene, you can see that we utilize two different cameras and we're displaying our desktop. And we can easily put our other camera in there over top of our desktop as well. And there we go. So now we have our two cameras and our desktop being displayed. Now something that could really spice this up is to use the move transition. If you're not familiar with the move transition, I'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can check it out. I'm not going to show you how to install it or set it up in this video. I just want to show you that a really simple, completely free plugin like the move transition can absolutely transform your live streams. So we're just going to add the move transition in here and there aren't even any settings that I need to change. And now you'll see when I switch scenes, our assets are going to animate from one location to the next. So if we change scenes and both scenes have the same assets, they're just in different locations, it will kind of zip those assets across the screen and put them where they're supposed to be. Now, if I go into the move transition here, I can actually set up where assets that aren't in the scene will appear from. And I just make it so they appear from the center. So it kind of looks like the display is zooming in there from the center. But other than that, I didn't change anything in our move transition to get this really simple and easy movement that looks so smooth. So what I'm gonna do now is add another layout. We're gonna call this one layout three and we're gonna go and add some scenes. I'll add the desktop and I'm gonna add my image and we'll add the webcam in here and we'll just place them in different locations on the screen. And now when we switch scenes, you can see they flip very smoothly from one section to another. We'll add another layout and we'll add all the same assets and we'll just size them up and change them and move them to different locations so that we add all kinds of cool variety to our scene, which makes it easy to just switch scenes and get some cool animations. And this is really something that a person can watch and really enjoy. So when you're adding multiple cameras to your live stream and you're using something like the move transition, you can have almost infinite variety on your live stream and it really is easy to set up and a lot of fun. You should definitely try it. And by the way, I only added two cameras in this video to keep it simple, but you can can add a lot more. In fact, you can add as many as your machine can handle. Just keep in mind, most computers only have two USB buses. So when you start adding more, you could run into bandwidth issues. Super easy. If you want to see how to create a cool stinger transition for your OBS live stream totally free, check this video out. Big thanks to today's sponsor, OWN. You can check out OWN and all the other sponsors that support the channel in the description below under the heading Sponsors. Supporting the sponsors that help keep the lights on here in the studio is a great way to guarantee that I can continue to make content that helps you. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.